Right, we're back into the uh, the admin department here in the uh, <laughs> in the caravan. The Sterling Eccles. We call it Jennifer from time to time, don't we, Helen? Jennifer Eccles, covered in freckles. You see, if you uh, if you're less than fifty, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. So that was Walnut Lakes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, just a reminder, it's £25 for one night. If you're staying multiple nights, it's £20. You do get um, £3 worth of electric on your first night. And, and when you're paying, uh, staying thereafter, you pay for your own electric. And just to give you an idea, we've had heating on in the evening and we've had hot water on since we arrived. Hair dryers going, phones charging, TV Street on. Now. All that malarkey, mm -hmm. kettle on and off every five minutes, and we've used actually one pound fifty. Oh, yeah. I think you could, you know, a pound a night is probably a fair, gives you a fair idea, I reckon. And the minute we get through this barrier and onto the main road, we're on the A17 and we're heading towards the A1 at Newark. But Helen has to go and do barrier duties now. Mm. Steve and Marion. Remember this? That's the roundabout. Take the second exit. Oh, I think they will. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's going on its own. You're okay. That's handy. So we're through. That was nice and easy. Right, I'll wait for you to go to the bins. And for the rest of you guys, we'll catch you on the road to Durham Grange.
Hi, welcome to Durham Lake. <laughs> They're gonna get fed up with me. I think I'll lose subscribers if I carry on. <laughs> okay. Right. So, leg one of the journey yesterday, coaster on sea to the red dot there, Walnut Lakes in Lincolnshire. Round numbers, that was 80 miles. We'll do, when we do the final recce of this tour, we'll put all the numbers on the dots, on the red dots. But I think it was 80 miles. Today, Walnut Lakes up to Durham Grange, up the A1. Look. Um, we're heading north now, folks. In County Durham, and how many miles was that, Helen? 167, was it you said? 162.98 miles. 162.98, yeah. talk about getting accurate or what? Yeah. So what we're gonna do on this whole tour is we're gonna log each leg of the journey like that, how many miles it is, and just for fun, not that we really care, but we're also gonna let you know how much we spent on fuel and how much we spent on site fees. Now last night's site fee, because it was a one-nighter down there at Walnut Lakes, was 25 quid, wasn't it? And tonight here at Durham, just again for one night, this is the only one night as we're doing until we actually drive all the way home again. How much for tonight? 30 pounds, 70 pence. 30 pounds and 70 p. That's without an awning. No awning on a blue pitch, Caravan Motor Home Club. You know what, two people, one a dog, for a night, with your electric, 30 quid. I'm not moaning about that. So that's our pitch. As it's one nighter, there's no awning. We're not bothering with awnings and the like. And we're very close to the entrance in and out. Get a key fob here, don't you, which is remote control. Yeah. You have to push the button to get out. But you have to take it with you to the other side when you check out and then put it back through the door after you've gone out, if you don't remember. Yeah, because you have to use it to open the barrier to get out as well as to come in. So that's your road in, down here. Park in the lay-by over there to do your checking, which we did earlier, which you saw. And here's your reception. That's just nice. It's good. Come on, miss. We're going walkies. 12 o'clock departure, please. Oh yeah, got to be off-site for 12 and couldn't arrive before 1. What do they do with the hour? Don't know. But um, there's no shop on site. And it did say that there was. There's a line through that when you arrive. So if you need any essentials, as uh, we did need some sugar, didn't we? Mm. But most importantly, I wanted some cheap diesel. So we went down to... Uh, well, I went down to Tesco, mm -hmm. which is actually three miles away. There's a massive Tesco Extra, and you'll find yourself at, right on the outskirts of Durham City. Tesco Extra, I thought that would be the cheapest petrol, but, and it was actually 176 for diesel. Mm. I passed a Mace Esso garage at 173, and I thought, well, if that's 173, I'm bound to get it for 171 at Tesco. No, 176. That was rabbits at work, watch out for holes. Oh. So what is this then? Oh, the toilets. It's a uh, laundry room, dishwashing room, disabled toilet. So the toilets are clean between half ten and twelve. So we'll put those in here. Also, I'm not going in the toilets. I'll never go in the toilets. <sighs> I'll take my word for it. Good laundry area in here, though. Lovely and warm as well. Machine wash four quid, rinse and spin a pound, tumble will dry a pound. Washing powder 50p. Both machines take tokens which are available from reception during office hours. That's fair enough. Very clean in here. Nice and warm as well. Which is good. There you go. Little view out the window. Got a lot of caravan storage I've noticed around here as well. Yeah. And the baby toddler washer in there as well. Dishwash just in here. It is what it is. It's a dishwash area. But I tell you what's lovely and warm and it's spotlessly clean. Excellent. It smells nice too. Do, do, do. 74 pitches, right. This must be the dog walk here. There's a bin there. Is it? It's between dog walk is between 15 and 17, just down there. Is it not that bit? No, it's no, that bit we're it's coming a up pitch. to. That's a, yeah, it is, it's a grass pitch. Mm. 
So we're almost come round the loop on ourselves now. Reception is over there in the distance. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's reception. Over there. And the dog walkers are between pitches 15 and 17. That's alright actually. So we've got another big drive tomorrow, haven't we? 169 miles tomorrow. 169 miles tomorrow. Three hours, 49 with the caravan on the back, that is. So my sat nav set up for, for the oh, caravan. Oh, look, she can go through. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You can hear sheep. I don't think she'll be bothered about them. So that's fine. Yeah, so it's three hours, 49 tomorrow. And tomorrow is really our proper first port of call because these are just stop offs to get us up the road. And we're at Bal Burning tomorrow. So, yeah, this video has really been all about getting us from home uh, to here. The next video you'll see will be leaving here and arriving at uh, Bal Burning in Fife over the fourth bridges we're doing um, a bit of reminiscing when we get there because we've got three nights and when Helen was a tiny wee tot well you weren't you were still at school though weren't you my auntie Nettie auntie used Nettie. to be quite famous for our trips on a Sunday yeah. and they used to take us to a few places around in five and about and also we had a family holiday in St Andrews and a static caravan was with mum's neighbours and it rained solidly for a week <laughs> seven days seven nights I was sick of the sound of it on the roof would it be fair to say back in the day times were hard no it was a great holiday yeah I know but what did you have to eat most of the time Come on, what was it called? No, we had, <laughs> when we went to Bunt Island on my auntie's trip, there was a little shop that used to fill up flasks with tea and tomato soup. Huh. So I now call tomato soup Bunt Island soup. Bunt Island soup? Mm. Aye, aye. We're going to have Bunt Island soup just like the old days, eh? So there's a lot of my friends and family all know all about Nettie's trips. Yeah, if you're from, so, if you're from uh, this little village just outside Edinburgh, then you'll know all about it, because that's what everyone used to do. So we now, thought we'd go and have a look and see how it's all changed. Yeah, so we're going to do some reminiscing. Also a special day, uh, is it tomorrow the special day? Oh, it's someone's birthday, I'm not sure who. Yeah, some young guy. No. <laughs> some young guy who's a lot younger than you. No. Celebrates a birthday tomorrow and uh, no doubt he will not be getting spoiled. He's not, he's not important. I don't like getting spoiled to be honest. I don't like having birthday cards, I don't do Christmas cards and all that sort of thing. I just think it's the point. Right, hear the noise now. It's changing now, isn't it? Get a bit noisier now, my dear, because there is the A1. Let me just zoom in. I didn't realise it was so near the A1. No, no. Nice place, but too much noise on the A1. Yeah. It's right next to it. I mentioned that it's right by the A1 before. What a good little dog walk though. Yeah, I'll go fencing here because there's a big caravan storage area attached to this site. In there. Oh, look who's here. Oh, Bella. Bella. Well, no, she's not interested in me. All that love I give that dog, and she never even looks at me. I think the dog walk just comes to a dead end. Well, you don't want to walk onto the A1, do you? Bella, Bella, Bella. Bella. Oi. She's a lovely little dog, and her name is Bella. 
right at the far end of the uh, of the site here, little children's play area. Keep dogs out of the play area. I think that's fair enough. I like the fact it's got this soft, soft ground for kids as well. No kids here at the moment. That's good. So, I think that's about as much as we're going to do on this video, isn't it? Yes, there's not a lot more. Right, say cheerio, Helen. Good night, campus. <laughs>